So I said to my wife, I didn't fancy flying. I've been flying all for years to work every month and back, and uh, I hadn't really seen that much of Thailand. And I said, let's drive. She didn't bat an eyelid. She said, okay, let's do that then. And we got a new car, so we were lucky. And we, so we set off. Um, I think we set off about six o'clock in the morning. Now, driving up to Bangkok was okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. Until we got to Chomburi, which is an um, industrial town in between, midway between Pattaya and Bangkok. Uh, I think we were waiting in traffic there for about two hours because the traffic was appalling. To be honest with you, it's the first time I had to wait in traffic there, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, and then we went up on the Chumburi Expressway. Now, Bangkok being here, and we're coming up here, as you saw in the picture, we're going to go past Bangkok that you, and go back to go down the country. And so when we got up to Bangkok, uh, it was very busy on the way up there, very busy going through Bangkok. Um, they were getting ready for the king's funeral, um, Bhumibol, which was a sad time, and uh, the roads were very busy with people coming into Thailand, uh, sorry, coming into Bangkok. Um, so then we passed up over the uh, outskirts of Bangkok and started on our way down through the country, which uh, was, it was a relief to, to, to turn the corner actually and get out of Bangkok and start coming down uh, sort of like Pechaburi and down through there. Now the thing I noticed was it was very busy coming down through there, still pretty industrial, still pretty uh, but once it started to thin out um, it was the traffic wasn't bad to be honest with you. We were making good time, we stopped quite a few times um, so we booked into a hotel in a place called Chum Phong it's called Chum Phong Chum Phong, which we'd booked in a hotel there on the beach. Um, that was a mistake, to be honest with you, because from uh, the dual carriageway into Chum Phong town took about 35, 40 minutes. So um, one, what happened was it was night time as well, we were coming into town, we were tired, and it seemed to take forever to get to the hotel. Once we got there, the hotel was a bit like that thing off The Shining. There weren't many visitors there, the food was fucking rubbish and um, although the rooms were spacious and nice and fairly clean it wasn't what we were used to so we, we wouldn't sort of recommend to go to there. I think it was a Novotel Chumphon. Ah, breakfast in the morning. Breakfast in the morning was shit to be honest with you. It was not what you'd expect or what you paid for. It was very poor. And another thing I can, I can bring up is another thing. The, the night before we went for dinner at 7.30 and the girl had her jacket on ready to go home because we were the last customers to go for food. So it was a bit weird ordering food and she wasn't very happy when I ordered an ice cream after my dinner. So it was great, uh, not very good customer relations there. Uh, in fact, it was rubbish. <laughs> um, swimming pools and everything was okay. The gym was very dated and very old, but we still used it. We still went training even after an eight hour drive. Um, but as I stopped, as I stopped over and somewhere rest your head, it was okay. We don't expect too much. Coming out of Chumphon and getting back to the motor, getting back to a dual carriageway, took about 30 minutes again, 35, 40 minutes, and was lovely, lovely scenery around there. Um, it would make a beautiful place to live. Um, I know the prices are now shooting up uh, down there, but it was a beautiful area, beautiful beaches, and very worth a visit if you're ever passing. So that's my uh, idea of Chumphon now, it gets better. Once we got back onto the dual carriageway, we were about, around about, um, oh, let me put in, uh, in, in here for you guys. Uh, I would say we were around about five or six hours from Phuket, um, I'm guessing. Uh, so I'm putting it in. Chumphon Railway, I'll put Chumphon Railway Station. Yeah, five and a half hours, it says here, six and a half hours via route four, blah, de, blah, de, blah, six hours and 46 minutes. Now that's probably the route we took, uh, coming out of Trumphorn, which takes you uh, down to, I don't know, Surutani. Yeah, Surutani, five hours and 28 minutes. Now, it was a good drive, very good drive. We made great time and we made great, um, you know, great he he haste and it was enjoyable, it was green, it was lush and I saw 
different farming methods, different farming techniques. I also saw that it was a different part of Thailand. It was a little bit uh, more arable and rural and whatnot. But as we started getting down through Surat Thani and to Surat Thani, it was a good drive and we enjoyed it. We stopped at Surat Thani for something to eat. Um, and then we started, took the crossing, which would have took us across Thailand, then uh, to Phang Na. Now coming down through that area from Surat Thani to Phang Na, was beautiful. It was stunning. There was mountains, greenery, beautiful roads. The roads were clear and, and very, very, very uh, quiet. Um, obviously, the usual buses and stuff were flying around, but it wasn't what I expected. I expected shitty traffic, shitty roads. I expected it to be a nightmare, but it wasn't. It was an absolute delight, and I totally enjoyed that drive. Uh, Phang Na Bay, obviously, you could see parts of that as we crossed that. And it was a just joy to see this, this place I'd seen only on photographs before and on video and on TV. Uh, and then we carried, I think we stopped near there, another cup of tea bike to eat. I then carried down onto Phuket Island, which again was like a, something I wasn't expecting. Um, great, great roads. Um, we also got, went through um, security to get onto the island, which was a, a good idea. Which I don't know if that's how corrupt they are, but they seem pretty good to me. Um, and we carried on down through Phuket Island, past the airport, the roads were great. They had a lovely motorway running through the island um, and whatnot. And we were staying on the side of the island, um, where, where were we? On the same side that Patong Beach is on, Surin Beach, and so on. And we were staying uh, at the Banyan Tree, Phuket, which was amazing. Um, John claude Van Damme had just checked out uh, when we got there, so we missed him. But the hotel was beautiful, it was everything we could we imagined from Banyan Tree. Uh, great place, great location, in fact I'll put some photographs on after this. And we had an awesome time. It was the best thing taking the car ever, because it means we could go out every day, every night, we could do whatever we wanted to. We saw a lot more Phuket than we would have what we, than what we would if we just uh, rented motorbikes and stuff. We saw we went to Phang Na Bay in the car. Great to go finish that, jump back, bring back in your own car rather than have to wait for people on buses. And it was a, it was well worth taking it, even though we had you knew what you were facing going home. Um, it wasn't too bad. So we drove home again three or four days later, I think, or a week later. We drove home and. Uh, I say it wasn't too bad, it was great, even going through Shambhuri was a good drive. So all in all, if you're thinking about driving to uh, Phuket, I can recommend it, I can recommend you'll enjoy it, I recommend you'll get great memories from doing that, and it's a road trip well worth doing. So, Bangsare, Pattaya to Phuket, two thumbs up.